Hello, my name is Jay. In this video, I want to show you guys how to use the Microsoft User Form Trivia Control. So let me start by uh, launching the uh, Trivia Control that we'll be creating. So this is the, the Trivia Control. So the Trivia Control is actually a window that displays a hierarchical list of items. Based on your data set, usually you have a parent. Your parents are going to be your roots, so this is the roots. And from the roots, you have different childs. So for example, um, for this set of trivia control, I have three parents. Parents one is the, the roots, so it's the, the starting point. And from the roots, so uh, aka parents one, uh, I have the parents one have three childs. So childs one, two, and three. And from uh, child one, you also has uh, three more childs from the child one. And same with parent two and parent three. So this is basically the concept that you're creating a hierarchical view that it can expand the relationship based on the key that ties to the parents. So we have a blank Excel spreadsheet. And let me save the Excel spreadsheet first. So I'm going to save this file as a uh, tree view uh, template. And I'm going to save the file type as Excel macro enabled workbook. And save. And then go to the developer tab. And on the visual basic, click on that. And that's going to open the visual basic window. And from there, you want to insert new user form. And let me expand the, the user form a little bit bigger. So the first thing we want to do is we want to insert the tree view control. So click on that. And we move the, the widget or control uh, to the top a little bit more. And I'm going to insert uh, two buttons. Press F4 to show the uh, control properties. And I'm going to just basically change the, the font style to make the text a little bit easier to see. And I'm used to, I should use the open sans uh, font style. And this is going to be the close button. And this is going to be uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to call this button get and caption get. So basically, when you click on the get button, I want to display the the name of the nodes that I'm selecting. So for example, uh, if the if the nodes uh, caption is let's say parent one child one, then I want the message box to display the text parent one and child one. And let me move these the buttons over. Okay. And this is basically my UI for the user form. I'm going to name the user form as well. Yeah. FRM tree view. And the caption will be uh, tree view control. And that should be it. Okay. And let's press F7 to take us to the uh, FIBIA window. And I'm going to uh, maximize this and we don't need the property uh, windows anymore. So we'll start by uh, from the user forms and want to select the initialize event. So by using the initialize events, I'm going to populate the tree view nodes uh, caption so our first layer is going to be parents. So parents and let me do this. Uh, me tree view one yeah. nodes add. So we have uh, actually a couple uh, arguments here, and the main argument that I'll be using will be first one will be the key, the key argument. And the key is basically uh, like similar to uh, a lookup key. 
you need to use the key to extract the relay value from your table and so I'm going to name this key uh, key one and text so for the text I'm going to name the text pen one then I'm going to copy paste this uh, two more times and this will be uh, key two and key three as well and pens two and pen three and let me just pass f5 oops oh so i forgot the, the column so it's to be column and equal sign and so let me finish this and here's our first three nodes so pen one pen two and pen three just let me do this let me go back oops uh let me show you. let me uh, let me assign the uh, VBA code to close the user form. So unload me. And let me go back to the user form again. So click on the, the tree view control and F4 to show the properties. And let's see, I'm going to make some change to some of the properties. So the first one will be I'm going to change the, the line style to use the roots and as well as the, the font style. So open sense and I'm going to increase the size to maybe 10. So 10 should be good. Let me see. So F5. Okay, 10 is easier to see. Close. Okay. And now I have the, the parents nodes. And we can go ahead and uh, uh, create in the child's. And this will be uh, child one. To link the nodes to the parents, and you want to, uh, from the relative argument, you want to insert the parent key. For example, I'm creating the child nodes that ties to uh, the first parent. So then I'll use uh, key one. And the relationship will be TVW and child. If you just press Shift F2, and this is going to uh, open the object browser window. And we have these five different types of uh, relationship status. And the most common one is the uh, TVW child. So that's basically just use the key to link the, uh, the parent's child relationship. And the first, meaning that you want to tie to the, the first parent. And from the, the key arguments, uh, basically you want to create the, the key will ties to the uh, first child. And I'm going to use the uh, key one dot one, and that's going to be the key for the, the child. In the text, I'm going to just type uh, parent one and child one. And I'm going to just copy these uh, two more times. And it's gonna be uh, the second child of the first parents and the third child of the, the first parents and, and so on. So now if I pass F5, we now have the expand icon. So you just click on the icon to expand uh, the, the tree view. And we have the child one, child two, and child three that all ties to the first parent. And okay, so now we know the, the basic structure. So we can create the second child and the third child. And so child, uh, let's show child parent one, child of, let's say child of parent one, and child of parent two, and child of parent three. So the parent two key is key two. And the key will be uh, parent two and first child. And parent two, second child. And this will change to uh, key three.
and so parent three and let me just press f5 to see what the uh, the form looks like right now so the the, the first parents second parents and third parent okay now uh, we have the we have three parents each parent has three childs of the first child uh, from each parents want to uh, also, also inserting uh, three childs to the first child so for example uh, for the for the first child of parents one we want to have three more childs of uh, the child one and to do that so, uh, so now basically under the structure so it will be a lot easier so child uh, childs of first child and me tree view nodes app and the key will be uh so I'm tight so I'm, I want to tie the child to the the first child of parent of parent one so it'll be uh so it'll be this one so the key is right here and relationship will be tvw child and key so i'm going to just use uh three point one point one dot one and text will be parent one and child one dot one and i'm going to copy this uh two more time and i'm going to uh change the key to uh one dot one dot two and one dot one dot three so this space is saying that uh, this child is linked to the first parents and the first child and this key is linked to first parents and of the first child i know it's a little bit confusing but uh once you've done this a couple more times uh you'll get pretty easy to understand and so this will be child uh, parent one child one a child two and child three and we'll do the same uh, two more sets and this will be the second parent and of the first child second parent first child and so third parent Oops. Okay. Now let me pass F5 to launch the, the user form. And let me expand the, the tree view. So here's the first parents. And here's the first child of the uh, first parent within the uh, child number one of the first parents and I have three childs tied to child number one and same way parent two uh, child one and that's basically how you would create the, the structure view uh, for the tree control and now let me do one more thing so I want to launch the user for uh, in the middle so Now we have the, the tree view uh, complete. The next step will be figure out how to extract the value when you select the, the node. So let me, uh, under the drop down, let me go to the uh, CMD gets button. And to extract the, the value of the node that you're selecting, let me do, let me do this. So let me, let me show you what options that we have. So let me use the debug prints and yeah. 
and we have this uh, select item property and from this select item property we, have, uh, we can uh, grab the roots of the child or if you want you can grab the, the children and the one that I use the most is uh, slot item uh, full path so this actually gives you the entire uh, hierarchy in one line and I'll show you in a second and first sibling last sibling and that should be sufficient for for now so i'm going to put a, a stop point right here so let me so let me click on uh, parent one and child one and click on get now if i step to uh each line and the slot item is going to let me open the immediate window so this select item is going to print the current item or the current nodes that you are uh, selecting and the rules is going to uh, print the, the parent name and from the node that I select it has zero child and this basically uh, prints the, the parents uh, hierarchical layout uh, separated by the uh, backward slash and first sibling and last sibling Okay, and now let me close the user form and now I'm just going to uh, finish the, the button to uh, populate the, the message that displayed the, the no text that I'm selecting. So to do that, let me just uh, delete this. And it will be select items. Select. Okay, and this is basically it. I'll be posting the, the file download link in the video description so you can download the workbook and take a look. Let me close everything. And so I'm going to insert active X control uh, command button. And I'm just going to name this uh, launch. And double click. And form view and show so now if I click on the button and it's going to uh, launch the, the user form and let me just select a, a no and parent one child parent one child two is select oops this uh, typo somewhere let me go back Let me try again. So it's, this is the parent one. And so parent two, child two. And parent three, child 1.3. And so on. So this is basically everything I want to cover in this video. Just the introduction tutorial, how to use the, the tree view control. If you have any question, please feel free to send me an email or leave me a message. And thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.